I would not, if he has a gun or something, dude. There's one. Whoa. Got that one. Yes. Oh, good Lord almighty. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Orange 22 Fishing. Thanks so much for checking out this video, I think you're really going to like it. As many of you guys know, I have not been on the channel recently, and I apologize for that. I've been super busy with school and work and everything going on, and I just have not had a lot of time to fish, which really sucks, but I'm trying to change that, and I hopefully will be back on the channel a lot more soon. But today's video, what you're going to see is a couple different days that I was able to go out and fish with David recently, and none of the days were really that great that we could make a full video, but we did catch some nice snakeheads, so it's all going to be compiled into one video, and you guys should enjoy it. I did catch a lot of nice fish over the days that I were able to fish though. So make sure you go down there, click that like button if you enjoy this video. Let's go. I would not want to be the cop that has to go to that guy. I mean, that's like, I would not, if he has a gun or something, dude, that is not good. You didn't even mention the part about him falling in and drowning since he's right there. There he is. I know. I wanted to get out here as quick as I could because he's sketchy. Something just chased this David and swirled on it. That guy was ripping. He was flying. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Oh crap, I'll tell you one thing guys, you do not want to mess with one of those things. Those things will be aggressive to protect their babies. Thankfully that one looks like it's not interested in attacking me, but... We'll try to stay, keep our distance and try to stay away from that thing. I'm not sure what's blowing up out here, but I do see some blow-ups. Should have brought my mono rod, but I didn't, I've never been to this spot, so I didn't know what to expect. I think today it's just gonna be making enough cast to find one of these fish, because they definitely probably will hit the frog. I don't know why they wouldn't. I guess we just have to find one of these little pockets that is stacked up with snakeheads. There is no shade anywhere, guys, so we're just baking out here in the sun. One thing you gotta remember when snakehead fishing is you can never make enough cast. Like, you can cast at the same spot 50 times, and that's what it might take. Obviously, I don't have time to cast everywhere 50 times, but a lot of times bass will hit it the first time if you're gonna hook them. But snakeheads, it's not the same way. You might have to cast an inch to the left for them to eat it. They're weird fish because they're so aggressive, yet they're so finicky, like they're not easy to catch. No action on the popping frog. I think I'm gonna try the tackle honker. That's what David caught his on here before. So I'm gonna go with what worked and hope for the best. The tackle is tied on. Bro, this spot is just crazy. We have all the minnows. We got crazy birds. Look at this. There's probably like a million birds up here. Will the tackle come through and get us a snakehead? Look how much scum there is, guys. I forget what this stuff is called. Duckweed or something, I think. But it's so, I mean like, 
uh, eighth of an inch thick on top of the water. You know it's bad when you can't even see where my frog hardly went through. Oh, sweat dripping down my face. Trying to catch some snakes. If we get one big one though, it'll all be worth it. If we get one at all, it'll all be worth it, honestly. Oh crap. Oh my gosh, it's a big freaking snakehead. Just swiped at it. Big snakehead. Oh wow. That was big. I saw the back of him. Maybe he'll hit it again. Giant snakehead. That was like a seven pounder. Wow. He got the thing off. This thing was already half broken and I fixed it, but he took the clacker. Dang it. And this is the only tackle I have. Only frog of its kind. I was wondering why I heard it stop clacking after he hit it. Might still work. With one. I'm gonna see if David has another. This water's a lot clearer too back here, so that might have something to do with why I had two hits. You gotta try to observe little stuff like that when you're fishing. It makes it easier for you to kind of understand what you're dealing with. Oh, crap. Just had another blow up. What the heck? Oh, that hit me right in the side. So now I've had four hits in the last probably 15 minutes. One of them was big. So we're bound to get something soon. Well, it's still making a sound. I guess that's a good thing. But as you can see, I lost one of the shiny things on the back. Keep traversing our way back here. I think this is the end of the line though. I'm literally being baked alive, guys. Definitely gotta go put on some sunscreen. I think David has some, thankfully. I know that big one's still lingering around back here. Definitely getting into some good looking areas though, because they do have some algae, but it's not fully covered. Oh my gosh! giant again as soon as it hit the water oh, I didn't even get a chance to set it just let it go he might come back and hit it again though because he didn't feel the hooks I don't think let's throw out there again that was literally like a second after it hit the water Here he comes. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh my gosh, the wake. That's a big fish sitting in there. Giant. He's still sitting back here. He was thinking about it because he was waking up behind it again. He might honestly hit it. Come on. That thing could be a 10 pounder. Just by the size of that wake that I saw. We gotta connect with one though. That's like five or six bites. Two really solid bites. I'm almost tempted to throw a whopper plopper guys. I feel like it might actually work. Got something, got something. Oh my gosh. It came off. Oh, and messed up my frog. That was a smaller fish, guys, but I still had a snakehead. What the heck is going on? 
Over here. There's one. Whoa. Whoa. Did, did you guys see that jump? He's got me up in the weeds. Yeah. Come on. He's got me all snagged up in the weeds. He's still on. That was a crazy jump. I don't know how, he's just stuck up here in the weeds. Where is he? I don't know if he's still on or not. Oh, he's still on, guys. He's still on. Yeah. I don't, he's got himself all wrapped up in these weeds. He's still on. Keep it tight. Oh, it's not going to do anything anyway because it's wrapped up. You sure he's still on? I found him fighting a minute ago. Got him. Come on. Stay hooked. It's a baby. It's a baby little snake. Yes. First snake cat of the day. In the boat. Let's go. <laughs> little baby. Let's go. That was sick. That was still a really awesome blow up. Hey Dave. I got the first snake friend of the day. Oh my gosh. Oh, perfect. He got unhooked himself. Awesome. Now he's hooked through his tail. All right, there he goes, he's free. Pretty small snakehead, but a snakehead nevertheless, so awesome. I literally cannot hold on to him. These things are so slippery and without grippers, I can't get him out of the net. All right, ready? One, two, three, there he goes. See ya, pal. <sighs> Finally, guys, it took long enough, especially with all the bites I've had, but we got one, so happy. Completely obliterated my frog. Whoa! Two of them just shot out. One big one and one smaller one. They literally, like, the big one was trying to eat mine and chase the little one away. That was crazy. There's a big one back there. How do they keep missing it? He want he never really ate it. Dude, that's a nice size one, I think. So frustrating. They never fully eat it, guys. You don't realize how frustrating this is. All right, they're still here. Got that one. Oh yeah. Mm. That's a good size one, I think. Oh yeah, nice size. Not as big as I thought, but I got him in the boat. He was running straight away and flailing all over the place. Man. <laughs> Thankfully, we caught another one, though. Because it's been so frustrating today. This is, I'm not even joking, I had this fish on earlier. Really? I'm pretty sure. It's like the same exact size I was catching it. I don't know. This one's not that big. The other one, I think, might have been bigger. We got some pictures, guys. He's all ready to go. Get one nice look at him. 
not a giant but really good coloration and I'm glad I caught another one because it's been a grind today but here we go let him go back to his natural home the swamp there he goes Alrighty guys, well, my plan didn't really work out. We didn't catch any on the top water frog. Um, now we're using a half an ounce cross-eyed Z chatter bait with a four and a half inch Kitek swim bait on the back. And uh, we're gonna see if they're feeding under the water. I'll show you guys this real quick. This is what we got going on. Pretty big bait, um, but there is big fish in here and that's what we're trying to catch. So we're gonna kinda do the same thing, fish backwards, go to where we started with all those fry balls and maybe they'll be eating this. So let's find out. Third cast, snake head on. Oh my gosh, that was sick on the chatterbait. Let's go. Let's go. Third cast on the channel bait. Come here. Yay, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Heck yeah. Wow, that thing smacked it and then came flying out of the water. Yes. Oh, good lord almighty. Whew. Let's go. You have a problem with dropping people's fish in the water. Say 